Who was Tesla? An inventor, an innovator, a person who saw beyond the technology at hand. He was a visionary who brought electromagnetism to mankind. He wasn't just outside of the box. He was outside of the atmosphere. Tesla was a very unlikely scientist who grew up in a small village far from any centers of culture. Tesla was born in 1856 to a poor family of Serbian parents. He was on a track to be a country priest, really. And he, you know, by dint of will, he broke out of that and managed to make his way to the centers of learning. Tesla's earliest and most widely influential discovery was alternating current. With that came the ability to move the electricity through wires through his Tesla coil system, and that made possible our worldwide electric grid. This ultimately led to him becoming an architect of our entire electrical infrastructure, as well as countless genres in academia. Discovering Tesla, it really was a uh, extraordinary descend down the rabbit hole. You're constantly moving from one invention to the next, finding out this rich history involving his patents and those unresolved patents that didn't receive the, uh, the light of day as they should have. Tesla holds basic patents of super influential inventions for our world. The system for electrical transmission across the world radio, telerobotics, in other words, anything that involves a remote control, and he holds a basic patent in computer circuitry. I mean, here's a guy whose main working life was at the turn of the 20th century, and we're still looking into some of his uh, findings to see if they can work. Our world really would not exist the way we have it today without Nikola Tesla. Tesla believed that mankind should exist in harmony with nature. He only wanted to create devices that create a sustainable, advanceable civilization for humanity. He wanted to basically stick a pipe up into the stratosphere and pump the electricity down to Earth. He was constantly thinking about free energy for all. If Tesla's dreams had come to pass, uh, I believe the world would be in a much better place. Wars are generally fought over resources. If you have free electrical energy, you wouldn't need to have those kinds of battles. You wouldn't have had those kinds of wars. He worked like crazy. He never gave himself slack. He sat in his office literally trying to piece together the things that are necessary to create a world that we can thrive in. With the world that we're in, which we're living on the internet, we're using our, our cell phones all the time, we are in a digital electronic age, I really believe that Tesla's time has come. At Takerni Academy, we have a particular mission, which is invention, innovation, and problem solving. I was fortunate enough to meet the president of the Tesla Science Foundation and we started a partnership after we talked about our mutual interest in bringing inventions into the education system. We have inventors come in who have know-how into the experiments that involve the Tesla coils and Tesla. It lights up and it's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of jazzy, you know, and those are the types of experiments you're always looking for for kids to bring them in right away. We've even seen some of our students stand up and start to connect and explain things that um, some of the adults weren't comfortable with yet. He wanted to inspire kids, he wanted to inspire other academics as well. Tesla is a perfect fit for the classroom because it would inspire children regardless of their upbringing or trials that they go through in life, that they would see that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I just feel like if we're going to, you know, both as a world and as a country and everything else, move forward, um, we have to really believe in our next generation and you stop looking at the world as this is the next big problem and look at our students as the next big solutions. So 
I think to have a person like Tesla as that symbol is really a positive thing.